you need to figure out what role each one of you has in the kingdom of heaven and more importantly in your marriage there are storm seasons they're designed and i'm not afraid to tell you the truth to remove the things that you were placing as an idol and cared about more than me which was going to harm you later on whether that be uh, your thought process what you were prioritizing what you were headed towards what you were desiring for your life um, not to get too in depth into the heavenly things <clears throat> but there are um, times where you can feel everything in the spirit and it's really unpleasant my heavenly father was telling us when mary was here be still storm weather it do this instead work on your marriage usually i'm going to have you doing something to avoid what everybody else is going through But it'll keep you close to me, it'll keep you in your hedge of protection, it'll keep you connected to the vine, it keeps you in the spirit, and keeps you um, part of the kingdom of heaven. So when your spouse is not part of the kingdom of heaven, there's going to be a lack of understanding which will eventually be conflict. So, you understanding how much control and power I actually have is being displayed right now. So, we're recapping now. Your spouse has their eyes open. They've looked back at the activities, behaviors, transgressions, sins, hurts, Things that they have committed. You have your vindication. Now, you're going to use that vindication to heal your spouse. And we're all going to do this together. And I'm walking us through this as an expert. <clears throat> there comes an appointed time for each person in the plan I have for you, that your eyes open and you have the aha moment. My way is never going to work. And then you, what you do, and I call this small ball, you do little things. Doesn't matter what they are, just little things. What I'm telling you to do what you're doing is you're taking a defensive stance against basically the enemy but also being deceived and stepping off the narrow path and then you're not opening doors you don't want to go through you're not setting up yourself for temptation you're renewing your mind you're spending more time in the light so piggybacking off what I was saying before if my spirit can move through the spectrum to make you invigorated the enemy can move through the spectrum to diminish your light and your hope and replace it with worldly emotions so be careful what you watch and uh, the quantity of what you consume on this newfangled youtube platform we use and created for spreading the gospel the little things and little changes that your spouse already knows <clears throat> that little hotel room used to be my base of operations in a place called Ashland that is who I am so I also have the power to change your spouse's heart what I have done. Despite the dreams, despite the songs in their heart, somehow they were still deceived. <clears throat> and I had said a while back, well, the third of the angels that fell, I want them back. And 
when I return them to your life, they are going to be completely different people. Truly a new creation. So that's part of the miracle I'm doing right now. That's part of the walking on water. And then once I get it done, then I have confirmation it's done in your life. That's how I do things. And I've done this many, 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 many times. Many, 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 and that's part of what your testimony is going to help accomplish as well. So there's that part of the plan for you. So you understanding your value and your importance in the kingdom of heaven. should be that boost of self-esteem that uh, guards you and kind of deflects you up. Because what can happen is I can pull you and I can lift you into the air like the scripture says, but you can also dive back down. And that's what my spouse does a lot. <clears throat> and then when you have your spouse attached to you, you're both kind of going that way. So... It will deflect against the depression, first of all, because it will be replaced with the emotions of God is with me. He's not with everyone else. And you're looking at your life from that perspective. I am in the best position possible because I am with Jesus. the lion of the tribe of Judah. <clears throat> Once your spouse values that there's only one you, and you are truly irreplaceable, the problems that you had before are going to be eliminated because it's something your spouse has already looked at. Yeah, that's not what I want. That's not better never ends out well, I'm not even thinking about that. Because they're too focused on you and God. That's the plan. Perfect. 